Okay, how about that? That looks pretty. It's an overcast day. Welcome to Analog Photography again, and I'm Jim Gooden. I am very excited today that I am unveiling a new camera that I just made, uh, following in the design mode of my first one, and I'll continue to talk about it right after this. Hello, I'm Jim Gooden, and welcome to Analog Photography again. Uh, I'm really excited on this day's episode because I am unveiling a new DIY camera that I made this weekend. It's following in the same design of uh, my first one, pretty much, a different focal length this time. It started out to be 45 millimeter, and it wound up being, by the time I got done, 50 millimeter. You get the 50 millimeter focal length from the front of the camera, to the back of where the film was. In this case, this is a four by five, so it's a piece of four by five sheet film in the back, and uh, the pinhole is there under my shutter, which is one thing I improved in this camera. So here's a, bit, a little bit better look at this thing. It is an extremely wide angle, and some say almost too wide angle, but I wanna see what happens. So it's very thin. You can almost handhold the thing if you're at a really, really bright day. Um, but uh, this is my improved shutter on it. It's got a little brace there, so it uh, adds a little bit more support when I'm sliding in and out. I'm using the uh, same thing but like before. I'm using film boxes, a box top and a bottom. And in this case, I use the, the same box. So I've got some difference here between the top and the bottom. And I had to kind of improve my mount. Uh, so I'm using a lot more tape. Uh, I initially tried an insert that uh, in theory looked good but didn't work out in practicality so I um, I'm really just kind of got it centered up and taping in there and uh, I lined the in thing inside of the whole chamber with black tape to hence darken it there's a scene I'm doing today uh, that this is an overcast day and uh, I'm getting exposure readings, uh, which I'm going to explain a little bit here. So I'm getting uh, anywhere from like about 40 seconds to about um, two seconds in the sky. It's overcast today. The sun's been peeking out a little bit, but we're back to kind of uh, gray, uh, which is about perfect for these reflections. Again, this is my DIY uh, new pinhole. This is pinhole number two uh, that I've made. It all started by a design that I found by Tony Warren on emulsive.org, and I, I've linked that in my previous videos. I'll, I'll link that in the uh, in the description as well but this one is pretty much my spin on that and just doing it myself you know it just occurred to me i hadn't talked about the the pinhole of this thing and i wanted to do that um it's it, again i'm doing them by by hand so i'm physically poking with a pin the difference that i did this time was i used a soda can that i cut up and it's a little bit stouter. It was harder to get a clean, as clean as you can with a pin pinhole. So I had to futz with it a lot. Uh, I did find making the first one with tin foil, it was a cleaner poke. But this one, I finally got one that I like. It had a diameter of 0.249 millimeters to 0.272. So that calculated, and I will put that in a super of the video or in the description, that calculated to an F-184 to an F-201, and I'm going with an F-201 today. That's kind of the math on the whole thing, and I'm gonna take one more reading and we're gonna, sh we're gonna shoot an exposure. This is the first exposure of pinhole camera number two. It's a 50 millimeter uh, focal length. It started out to be 45, but it wound up being 50 by the time I did all the measuring and stuff, and uh, We'll see, it's gonna be wide, but I think it's gonna be cool. I rechecked the numbers and I'm getting from 45 seconds to two seconds. So let's do it here. Um, so uh, this mount is still, I mean, I've got rubber bands and it's still gonna rock it a little bit, but I'm gonna lift this guy up, which is gonna open up the pinhole and we'll do the exposure. I'm gonna need both hands for that. So we're gonna pause tape. Okay, uh, in the end I did 45 seconds on this scene. Man, the reflections today are really cool. Uh, I love that. It's a, it's a good gray day. With, well, it's a little bit of sun beginning to peak, 
this is a test run of my new pinhole camera number two another diy very jazzed about this one this is 50 millimeters so we'll see how wide that is on four by five some say it's uh, off the landscape but i like to experiment see what happens and there you can see it there and a little bit angle here it's really thin it's kind of cool in that regard i kind of dig that we're again uh, at the near the audubon center in prospect park so I did 45 seconds on that. As I said, the average was from about uh, 45 seconds in the tree line and down in the water it was a little less and up in the sky is a little more. So I gave it 45 seconds and we'll see how it comes out. All right, thanks for joining me again for this episode. Uh, I'm Jim Gooden, this is Analog Photography again. It's my uh, channel about all about a return to doing film-based photography over the last year. Uh, I did it in the 80s. Uh, all small format in those days and I came back uh, with kind of some renewed interest, re-inspired interest about a year ago and I've evolved to doing 4 by 5 and really dug it and in the last six weeks I've gotten really excited about the pinhole stuff and so I've made now two pinhole cameras there it is in the background, it's hard to do this in reversal but uh, anyhow, I am jazzed about it and happy to take you on this little adventure. This is a scene I've been grabbing today. Um, thanks so much for joining me. Check out uh, the other videos and see you next time. Be well. Bye-bye.